okay so now let's begin the process okay so we were discussing about the azure data engineering so when we talk about the azure data engineering everyone so this is what it is a bunch of cloud services bunch of what's it cloud services provided by the microsoft it is a bunch of cloud services provided by the microsoft to perform the following what is it to perform the following what is that it's a bunch of cloud services to perform the following task what is that the first one is called as what data migration data migration, data integration, data migration, data integration, and then you have data summarization, data migration, data integration, data summarization, and then you have data visualization. Okay, these are all the tasks done by the Azure Data Engineering. Okay, a complete end-to-end -end solution. Okay, whereas when it comes to this Azure Data Factory, that is Azure Data Engineering, it has the following services provided. What are those? Those are, we can say the first one, here we can say guys, everyone, uh, the first one, these are the list of all the services we can see. Okay. The first one is nothing but the ADF. And the second one is the ADB. And next one you have the Synapse. And then you have the Machine Learning. Then you have the Artificial Intelligence. And then you have one more. Many more are there, but I'm listing out two which is required. That is nothing but here you have a Azure Fabric. Okay. So these are all the services we have it. These are all the services we have it in the Azure Data Engineering. Okay, guys. These are all the services we have in the Azure Data Engineering. When it comes to this, <clears throat> the services, where the starting process will start from the data, guys. Data. That means we get the data, everyone. We get the data and we start it. So where we get the data? The data is nothing but what? Information, everyone. And this information, we get it from where? From the business ultimately. Okay. We get the data from what is it? Business. Whereas, guys, everyone, we get the data from what is it? Business. So now when it comes to the business, okay, when it comes to the business, guys, the data we get it from what? The business so what kind of business we can have yes guys so we can have the following are the businesses which we can have from where we can expect the data that is nothing but we can say social networking sites social networking sites what are the social networking sites yes we have what is that the facebook then we have insta there is the instagram then we have what is that? LinkedIn. These are all the various guys. These are all the various social networking sites which are provided, which are available, which provides the data or we can say huge data or what is that we can say huge data. That is nothing but the huge data. Whereas apart from this, what are the other uh, businesses we can have? Yes, guys. We can say the business. We can get the data from the business. That is nothing but we can say we can get it from the banking applications. Banking applications. Whereas the banking applications are used at the banking sector where even this generates the massive amount of data. Hence, this is called as what? Huge data. Everyone. 
This is called as what? Huge data. And the next one we have, what is that? The next one is the business. We get the data from the business. And whereas we get the data from the business from what? From the live streaming as one of the major source. Live streaming data. So what do you mean by live streaming data? The data which is continuously recorded, such as the live cricket matches, such as the live cricket match. And they have, what is that? The stock market. All this comes under, what is that? Live streaming process. All this comes under, what is that? Live streaming process. Live streaming process. Okay. So live streaming process. This all comes from, uh, comes from what is that? Live streaming process. Okay. So we can say stock market data, etc. Where the values changes every second. Whereas, can you say, this also generates a massive amount of data. That is, we call it as what? Huge data. Where, when we talk about the data, guys, huge data. When you talk about the huge data, huge data is nothing but what? We can also refer it as the big data. We can also refer it as what? Big data. So, what do you mean by big data? The massive amount of data, everyone, the massive amount of data or the huge volume of data which is generated, the huge volume of the data or the massive amount of data is called as the big data. So, here we are going to deal with the big data, guys. Okay, everyone, we are going to deal with the big data. And when we talk about the big data, what are the various types of big data we have it? Yes, everyone. When we talk about the big data, guys, the big data is of three types, basically. The big data is broadly classified into three categories of data. The first one, we call it as a structured data, guys. Structured data, where the second type of data, which is called as what? Semi-structured data. And the third one is called as what is that? Unstructured data. These are the three different varieties of data we can have it. What is that? Structured data, semi-structured data, and unstructured data. So when we talk about the structured data, the structured data is nothing but what? The structured data is nothing but the data which is recorded in the proper form of a table is called as a structured data. That is the data which is recorded in the form of a rows and columns. That is, for example, here you have name, number, salary, and job. These are the things we have it. Whereas the name, let us see it here, some name as a ill and then you have the next one that is called as a 34 and then you have the 3000 or 30,000 as a salary and then you have the job job is the clerk something like this okay and again you have what is that okay guys the next one you have what is that bobby some 43 and you have 40,000 and senior clerk is the data. So, this kind of a data where you have a proper form of rows and columns is called as what? Structured data, guys. This kind of data is called as what? Structured data. It is called as what? Structured data. The data which is kept in the proper form of rows and columns is called as what? Structured data. Is called as what? Structured data. And when we talk about the semi-structured data, guys, what do you mean semi-structured data? The data which is not fully understandable by the user, but still it has some structure. The data which is not, not fully understand by the user, but still it has, has some structure that is called a semi-structured data, such as, such as the data which is recorded in the form of a HTML files, the data which is recorded in the form of a XML files, and the data which is recorded in the form of a JSON files is called as what semi structured data. So we can say what's that the semi structured data is a data where the data will be recorded in the form of a semi structured that is in the form of a JSON, in the form of a XML, or in the form of a HTML, etc. These are all the forms of data where 
it is where the data is recorded in the semi structure now let us see the same above data if it is recorded in the semi structure format how the data will be recorded first of all let us see how does the json formats looks like okay when we talk about the json so guys when you talk about the json the json stands for what json stands for java script object notation file it stands for what javascript object notation file okay which stands for what javascript object notation file where the data is recorded in the form of a key value pair where the data is recorded in the form of a key value pair key value pair where the data is recorded in the form of a key value pair where the keys what is values and what is the pair let us try to understand when you talk about the json the data is always recorded in the form of a curly braces these are the opening curly braces and this is the closing curly brace always this the data radiates between the two braces now guys when you talk about the key the keys are nothing but what the keys are nothing but the columns the column names are called as the keys guys the column names are called as what is it the keys so what are the keys you have it name number salary job these are called as keys here guys so how the keys are recorded always make sure that the keys are recorded in the form of a double quotes so here in the double quotes you have a name name is a key here and now what is the value for the name tell me now alien so hence you have a alien here adds the character data it is put in the uh, that is nothing but single double quotes that's it the next one is what is the next key you have it hmm. next key is what number so guys when you have a number as a second key can you see here here you have what is that 34 and now as it's a numeric data it will not be recorded in the double quotes that should click on the comma and next the next column is what is that the next key is what sal is the next key and then next one what is it you have it mm, 30,000 and this is also numeric data hence this data is normally recorded like this and the comma and the next one you have it as a mm, key as what yes guys the key as what you have a job as the key here so the job as the key and now here the job is what club this is the club that should now work so here you have what is it finally once the data is recorded and now can you see here once the data is recorded the brace is closed here the brace is closed when the next row data has to be entered how will it be entered guys can you tell me everyone how will it be entered yes everyone now guys when you enter the next row yeah again one more comma is placed here one more comma is placed and then after the same braces that is a, then after the same pattern is written here again that means the data is recorded here in the semi structure so now guys i can say here the same data is recorded here like this hmm, with a comma separated now your what is it alien is there so everything will be same only the value of the key will change here bobby and then you have what is that four three and the id is the salary is forty thousand and here you have a senior club that's it now finally once the data is completed it will be like this so whereas this kind of a data is called as what semi-structured data where the user can understand this data of course where the user can understand this data where the user can what's that understand this data where the user can understand this data where the user can what's that understand this data okay uh, but not in the fully structured format in the same way in the same way this is called as a json data when if the same data is written in the xml format so what is xml format guys in the xml format everyone in the xml format where the xml stands for what extend uh, that is it exponential markup language or extendable marker language that's it and now the data here is recorded in the form of a yes guys what is the tags these are called as tags 
this is called as an opening tag. Okay, now here you have said the row tag, and this is called as a root tag. Root tag, and this is this is called as what a row tag. Row tag. So how the root tag and row tag will be written? Suppose you have the name of this particular table as employees. Whereas this will become the root tag here. This is called as a root tag. That's it, guys. And the row tags. What are the row tags? The row tag is the first row tag is what is it? Name as the column name. This is the first row tag. This is called as an opening row tag. This is called as an opening row tag. What is the value you have it? ALN. There will be no commas, nothing like this tag. And this is called as a closing tag. When you have a closing tag, the tag will be given with a slash here. That's it. This is called as a closing tag. Okay. The same process is repeated here again. And here you have a number. And what is the number you have it? 34. And they have closing tag. Again, next one, what is it you have it? Opening tag. And the opening tag is salary. And the value of the salary is 30,000. And the closing tag is what is it? Slash sal. Next one, what is it you have it? Opening tag. The job. Job is the clerk. Closing tag. That's it. Now, finally, guys, everything is done. Now, finally, the same is repeated again, but with the different values. What are the different values? Everyone? Yes, guys. Here you have what's that? Tell me now again. The same values here. What is that? Instead of Alan, here you will replace as what Bobby. And instead of 34, it is placed as a 43. 30,000 to 40,000 clerk to senior clerk. That's it, guys. This is the data. And finally, once the data is written, the root tag has to be closed. So this is called as a root tag. Now the root tag will be like this. That's it, guys. This is called as a closing of a root tag. So when you close it, you have to give a slash here. So this is how the XML data looks like, guys, everyone. So now this is the format of semi structured data. This is the format of what? Semi structured data in Azure. Okay. It is called as what? This is the format of the semi structured data. Okay. That's it. Now, this is the thing we have it. Now, guys, the next one, what is it you have it? Yeah. The next one, what is it you have it? That's it. Okay. That's it. Now, the next one. Then afterwards, you have the next one as the unstructured data. So, guys, what is the unstructured data? The unstructured data is nothing but basically the unstructured data is nothing but everyone. The unstructured data is nothing but the data which is recorded in the unstructured format. There is no structure such as the data which you have it in. Whatever the data you have it, the chat histories. In the mobile, you will have chat histories. Am I right? Chat history. Then your words that chat history is there. The next one, what is it? You have it. Ah, the chat history is there. Then you have what is it? Photos, videos, and then your words that voice voice notes. This is all called as what is it, guys? Unstructured data. Whereas, guys, whereas when you talk about the unstructured data or the structured data or semi-structured data. When you talk about the real-time data, in the real-time, 80% of the data you will receive it in the 
that is 80 percent of the data you will receive it in the 20 percent of the data you will receive it in what's that the semi structure and unstructured but 80 percent of the data you will get it in what unstructured form so we can say out of the 100 percent of the data which you receive it you will receive 80 percent of the data in which format here in this format 80 percent of the data you will receive it in which format here this format 80 percent of the data where 20 percent of the data you will receive it in what the structure or the semi-structured format so this is nothing but the data we look like okay everyone is clear with this yes guys please tell me yes now when we talk about the azure now we are getting into the subject guys azure when we talk about the azure so basically this type of data in azure required to be stored this data whether it is semi structured or structured or unstructured this three kind of data required to be stored in azure required to be stored in what is that azure so how to store it in azure whenever we require to store this data in azure guys everyone whenever we require to store the data in the azure okay whenever we require to store the uh, store this data in the azure the azure require storages so hence we can say that storages in azure azure storages or storages in azure so the following are the storages we have it where we have 90 plus of storages in azure how many 90 plus storages are there where each storage can store a different kind of a data such as the first one we start with what is that and these storages are common that means commonly used whether we use the service called adf adb synapse or machine learning or artificial intelligence or the fabric or anything you use it here generally you will have what is it guys everyone you will have what is it azure storages in common you will have what is it azure storages in common so what are the azure storages the first one is the azure blob storage where the blob storage stands for what binary large object binary large object the blob storage stands for what binary large object where this binary large object can store any kind of a data whether you have the data called what's a structured data or you have the semi structured data or unstructured data so whatever the type of data you have it let's get okay. semi structured data unstructured data and structured data whatever the type of data you have it this data is recorded into the azure blob storage whether it is structured semi structured or unstructured whatever the format of the data we have it that will be recorded into the storages in called azure blob storage any kind of data will can be stored here the next one after this guys the next type of a storage that is called as a more advanced storage which is provided in azure okay in the very recent times that is called as what azure data lake gen 2 so these are the data lake gen 2 and whereas when you talk about the data lake gen 2 prior to this we had azure data lake gen 1 but whereas the gen 1 is not in use now the gen 1 is not in use okay so the gen 1 is not in use guys the gen 1 is not in use whereas guys the gen 1 is not in use and now the microsoft is recommending everyone yes the microsoft is recommending everyone to migrate the data from the adls gen 1 to the gen 2 storage so now the gen 1 is going to retire the gen 1 is going to retire in 2024 this is going to retire in 2024 so hence the azure 
recommends the users to switch it over from the Azure Data Lake Gen 1 to the Gen 2 storage. When you talk about the Gen 2, the Gen 2 can also store, guys, the Gen 1, Gen 2 can also store the unlimited data. Here, this is called as an unlimited storage, guys. This is an unlimited storage, whereas this is called as a limited storage. Here. So, what is it? You can store up to, what is this, 40,000 MIB. 40,000 MIB. 40,000 MIB means almost all it comes to 4 GB. Okay. So we can store up to the 4 GB data into the Azure block storage, but there is no limitation for storing the data into the Azure data like Gen 2. Okay. This is the more advanced storage where here also we can store any kind of a data that is called as what? Structured data, semi-structured data and the unstructured data. That's it guys. The next one after this, you have the third one that is called as a Azure SQL database. So when you have the Azure SQL database and when you have a Azure SQL database, that means this is a type of storage where only the data called, what is that? Only the data called structured data. When you talk about the database means what? It can store only the structured data. So here, Whenever you want to store the data in the proper structured format, that is in the form of a rows and a columns, that is in the form of what is that? The rows and the columns, the data is always stored in the structured format. The data in the stored in the structured format. And hence, this is called as what? Azure SQL DB. It is called as what? Azure SQL database. Azure SQL database. Yes, guys, everyone, am I clear? Yes, guys, please respond. Yes, no. And then you have what is that? When you require the third, fourth type of storage that is called as what? Azure Cosmos DB. That is Cosmos DB, which is also called as no SQL database. That means here, if you have a Cosmos DB, guys, this is called as a no SQL database. Here you can store. And when there is no SQL, that means what? You can store structured and semi-structured. You can store what is that? Structured and semi-structured data. You can store it here in the Cosmos DB. Okay. The Cosmos DB can store what is that? Semi-structured and unstructured data. You can store it here into the Cosmos DB. Okay. So, whereas this is the format. Likewise, you have the another storage that is called as Azure Synapse Analytics. When you talk about the Azure Synapse Analytics, guys, Azure Synapse Analytics can store only the structured data. Why? Because this is called as a data warehouse. This is the data warehouse of Azure, guys. This is the data warehouse of Azure. This is the data warehouse of Azure. So when you talk about the Azure data warehouse or any data warehouse, the data is recorded in the, yes, guys, the data is recorded in the, what is that? in the structured format or the data used for decision making. This data is used for what decision making purpose. Decision making. So this is called as a final decision making data will be recorded into the Azure Synapse. Likewise, the sixth one guys, you have the Azure Elastic Pools. When you talk about the Azure Elastic Pools, guys, the data in the Azure Elastic Pool is recorded in the, why? It is recorded in what's that? In the structure. Why? Because here, the group of databases, the group of databases recorded in a pool is called as what is that? Azure Elastic Pool. Okay. This is called as what? The group of databases recorded in a pool is called as what? Azure Elastic Pool. When you talk about the Azure Elastic Pool, guys, everyone, we can store the data into what's that? The various, uh, there's various databases. We can store it into one pool that is called as Elastic Pool. So now this can store only the structured data. That's it. Likewise, guys, you as I discussed that we have 90 plus storages. I would like to show you the storages. How does it look like in Azure? So to begin with the Azure, so first of all, guys, I'm starting the practicals now. First of all, 
you have to begin with the process. What is that? First of all, go here. Just check it here. Azure.com. Check it here as what? Azure.com. Check it here as what? Azure.com. Just click on the Azure.com and you have to register here. Uh, that is nothing but take the subscription as you wish. That is nothing but you can go with the free subscription. Free subscription means what? You will be provided with a free subscription wherein you can take, uh, okay, um, your debit card or credit card and you have to enter the all information related to your email IDs, etc, etc, everything. And once you take the subscription, so this subscription will be valid for 45 days to 2 months, okay. And wherein you will be provided with some free credits. Some free credits will be provided to you. Till the time the credits are consumed, you can use that particular storage, whatever the type of storage you have, or whatever the type of uh, account you have, that's it, okay. So now guys, here you have it, go to the azure.com and now I'm just going here, everyone. So just click on this. A portal. Open this everyone. Now open this. Use portal dot. Azure.com. Portal dot. Sorry. Use the Azure.com first. Azure.com. Now here you have azure.com everyone. Now click on the free account. Everyone is able to see the screen? Yes sir. So click on the screen, click on the start free. And now I'm already registered so hence it's giving my mail ID. Else you have to enter your mail ID and the password. Click on the sign in. So it says what's that already you have free account you want to upgrade it to the pay because i am using the free account so it is asking me to upgrade it to the pay as you go model so you can just upgrade it or whatever you want it can you see now when i click on this i'm being rerouted to the can you see here i'm being rerouted to the can you see these are the free credits subscription azure samir has remaining credits of 14104.50 that means these are the free credits which are available. 15,000 credits, you'll get it with every account. So anyways, this is the portal you have it. And now, this is the portal. And now guys, what is it you have to do? So here, can you see, click on all services. More services are there. Now, now we'll show you the storages. Here you have what's that everyone? Can you see? See here everyone. These are some of the storages. Likewise, I'll show you. How many database storages are there? 21 types of different database storages are there. Likewise, all the storages are there. Many storages. These are all the services and storage services.
and your synapse is one of the storage. That's it, guys. So these are all the storages we have. It. So this is how we can browse it. So I request all of you to take the subscription today itself so that we can start the practicals from tomorrow morning. Okay. And now if you have any doubts, you can ask me, guys. Please go ahead. Everyone, please. Uh, it has, uh, this is Akshay. Uh, so uh, I want to ask you the question at the top. Uh, you are uh, like uh, describe the services right for the Azure Data Engineering. Yes. So the fabric you have mentioned right, the Microsoft fabric. Yes, yes. So are you uh, covering in depth or you are just uh, like touching the? No, no. The the basic these are three things are covered in depth. Azure Data Factory, Azure Databricks, and Synapse. Okay. These are all overviews I'll give you. A small scenarios type of thing. Okay. 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 So that's it, guys. So everyone, just take the subscription. As and ah, uh, please, okay. please, please. And the second one is the DataBricks, right? So what second you? Ah. Uh, yeah, the second one, the DataBricks survey. So what exactly you will uh, learn? Uh, like it, uh, uh, teaching us in the DataBricks, or like the control panel, or the uh, Spark itself. The Spark itself, I'll tell you. Okay. And which API? Like the Python Scala? No, the Spark API. Uh, yes, but uh, the like the coding, right? The, uh, that is a PySpark. PySpark. Okay. okay. Got it. Got it. Thank you. Mm, that's it. Yeah. Anyone else? Any, any other questions more? Sir, up to what depth we are going to study the data breaks? Into the depth, all the scenarios we are going to see, the case studies. How to read the data from the crowd, crowd, there is a cross cloud computing and how to read the data from the various sources and uh, what is a delta lake and how does it works the delta lake. Okay, how to convert the delta lake into the data lakes and how the data lakes are being converted into the delta lake. All these are the things in detail we are going to see in the data break. Uh, are you also covering the uh, Delta Live Table streaming pipeline and the yes, yes, yes. Uh, Unity Catalog feature? Yes. Oh. Okay. Good. okay, guys. So, any other questions if you have? That's it, guys. So, all of you, just take the subscription today. So, it will be better. Whether it is a free or paid, that is, it's up to you. So take the subscription and we'll start the classes from tomorrow. The practicals directly will start the practicals now. Okay. Okay. So uh, I I have one last question. Uh, so the oh, like who is the audience here? Like it is like fresher or experienced by taking the course and practicing the session. Like uh, will we be uh, like claiming the experience of like like let's say three three four years of experience and will after, we after two thousand nineteen you can put up the experience whatever you want uh, yes, the yes, level yes. of uh, subject what we are going to see it here based on that. Uh, right, right. So we we like uh, we will be like so like uh, cracking the interview of like uh, having three years of experience, like claiming the. Mm, definitely. Oh, okay. okay. Got it. Okay. Any other questions? Okay, guys. Thank you, everyone. So we'll meet tomorrow at the same time, twelve o'clock. Thank you. I'm ending the class. Yeah. Thank you. Everyone. Bye. -bye. Thank you.